Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Los Angeles Chargers taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Looking at last week, and you're seeing exactly how the Chargers came out. Um, very pretty good game plan against the Raiders. And you're looking at also how the Kansas City Chiefs were the best team last week physically on paper when you look at offensively defensively the way that they played the game of football and the way that Patrick Mahomes spread the ball out that was very impressive a lot of people talk about how uh, the Chiefs were not going to be able to bounce back without Tyreek Hill a lot of people doubted that they were going to have a good offense similar to what they have with Tariq and, and Travis Kelsey I think that that offense has become even more potent the game plan expanded and you're looking at coming into this game they're going to have to face a, 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 a Chargers team that is definitely gotten better on the defensive side of the ball. When you look at just what Khalil Mack was able to do with those three sacks last week and be able to wreak havoc, you look at what the back end was able to do as far as slowing down some of the passes and how they were actually able to close out the football game. When you're looking at this, this is going to be pivotal because you want as many in-division wins as possible. When you look at Patrick Mahomes, is he going to be able to get away with a lot of things he did last week that was so free and easy? He didn't really have a pass rush as far as having like a Khalil Mack in his lap every single play. So when you're looking at Khalil Mack and then you're looking at Bosa, you're looking at so many different things. On the backside, you got Derwin in the back. So you have so many different things that this Chargers team has that they can offer to throw a, a monkey wrench into the game plan. If I'm the Chiefs, same game plan as last week. Spread your guys out. Make sure they're getting in open pockets and hitting them dink and dunking, going down the field and trying to score every single time you can. The key to that was the Chiefs not doing too much. They took exactly what the Cardinals gave them. They took the soft defensive coverage, and then boom. You're, oh, you want to blitz? Boom. Oh, you want to do this cover too? Boom. We're taking exactly where you're putting the holes at. He went through his progression. Patrick Mahomes did. And then on, on, on several occasions, he hit key receivers for targets, for touchdowns. Um, if you're Justin Herbert coming into this football game, you want to make sure you press the, the button on the defense. You want to make sure you're exposing their weaknesses. If you're the Kansas City Chiefs on defense, you know you have a lot of holes on defense. You know that, you know, last week they weren't really exposed. But this week, Justin Herbert has the arm that can hurt you. He has an arm that can throw anywhere on the field at any point in time. And he can be the equalizer to slow down any momentum you have on offense for the Chiefs. And then, boom, you have to deal with him on the defensive side of the ball to play a game of keep up. So that I think this is going to be a high scoring affair when it's all said and done. I think the Kansas City Chiefs will come out on top, but I think it'll be a high scoring shootout. I think this is going to be in the high 40s. And I think both these teams are going to come out and, and, and leave you breathless. And, and on this side of this first matchup, I feel like the Kansas City Chiefs have everything that they need on offense. They're going to struggle on defense mightily, but I think that, you know, this is going to be that game where the Chargers say, hey, we want to prove ourselves, and they're going to get the respect of the Chiefs with this game here. So I'm picking the Chiefs to win a high-flying action game, and I think that it's going to be a lot of points scored in this one. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the updates and all the breakdowns, and as always, we'll see you on the next week for the predictions.